the EF07 EOYO camera. What's good about this and what's bad about this. You have to know this before you buy this. There are definitely two sides to this camera. Alright, so first and foremost, thank you EOYO for sending me this free camera and the free electronic panner. Now let's get started. When you look at all the cameras online, there are there are so many models of these, you have to pick out which one suits your need. This one is the base model. It's around $200, and the optional electronic panner, which is awesome, and it has the remote for it too, and it's geared very low, so it turns it very, very slow is what you need. Because when you got about a 30 or 40 foot span, on your cord, you don't want to do any fast movements. Now it comes with a hard shell case, which I absolutely love because I am super hard on stuff. Some of the basics before we get into this, actually, you know what, we'll just open it right now. When we open this old girl, and I'll bring the camera closer in a second, it's got a seven inch screen, which is more than enough, and the batteries last on average six to eight hours. Now we're gonna take the padding off, which is nice, because it's gonna protect the screen when you close it. Okay, right, before we jump to conclusions here, the panner goes for around $100. I'm gonna tell you right now, what's bad about this thing, it's no secret. If you've done reviews, you've watched a bunch online before you buy something, the DVR, it's not worth it. If you wanna record underwater footage and save it to YouTube, like lots of, well, not the majority don't wanna do that, but if you do, I'm sorry, yo, yo, it's not there. It does have a DVR one, this is not the DVR one. And I have used them, so I'm speaking from experience. It puts it in an AVI format, which is kind of, it's okay, but most editors, you gotta use MP4, so you gotta get a converter, which you probably have to buy to convert it over. And I'm sorry, the resolution is just, ah, oh, it's not there. So if you want it for a DVR, sorry, that's the only flaw about this. As far as watching this real time on the screen, it's a really good camera. So what I'm gonna be using is just the GoPro off the screen, and you're gonna get way better quality doing that. So that's the only downfall that I have found with, with using this unit. So this is what it looks like from the very beginning. Oh, and stick around to the end. We're actually gonna go out and do real footage so you guys can see what it looks like under the water. Because if you do a review and you don't actually use it like for full testing, that's pretty dumb. We do a lot of dumb things in this channel, but that's not gonna be one of them today, I promise. So when you open it up, here we go. It's got the pad up here, which is super nice. It's gonna protect your screen. And remember, seven inches. You measure diagonally, not any other way. Everybody knows that. And now you have your hood. You need this, it's special, well you just need this unless you have a tent. The glare on any kind of a screen, no matter where the sun's at throughout the day, it's gonna get annoying. So it just goes on here like this. I don't actually have to show you that because you should be able to figure it out. What you can do with this as well, is you can put it on the end of your fishing rod, drape it straight down, put a bobber, which is right here, and then there's two sets of clips. It depends on how you wanna rig it up with your rod. But you can, these, these are the, um, the clips that go onto your rod right here, and then it holds the wire for the camera uh, when it streams down. So you can catch a fish on it, because on the end of the camera, there's actually a little place you can put a hook. I kind of want to try that. I have never tried that. It's gonna be probably pretty cool. So we pull this out. This is your battery, right here, big old block. And everything is labeled, if you see. I don't know if that's focusing, I can't see. Everything's black. Everything is labeled, and how you plug it in, it only goes one way, I promise. Here's your plug in to charge the battery. Now this is your cord, it comes really nice and spooled up, it's 15 meters. And ooh, before I forget, this, when you get the, when you get the stand right here for the camera, it comes with Velcro uh, pads, you, or 3M tape, so it just clips on. So it's actually really, really nice, and you don't have to worry about it falling over or tipping it over. Because things get exciting in the tent, we all know that if you watch me. And then another thing, we'll just pull this out, we'll pull the cords out, and we'll hook them up here in a second. This is the camera. It also has infrared lights, because when it gets dark, a lot of lakes are dirty, some are clear. It's a really, really nice feature to have that. And this is what I was talking about. If you want to put the hook on the bottom right here and point it down with the bobber and use it on your rod, it would be pretty cool, the real efficient looking at it. We're going to hook her up, so I can kind of see. There we go. Oh yes, this, see, we don't plan anything. We never have an itinerary, just never makes them. But I believe it's a 4,500 milliamp battery. So it's a pretty good battery, it's a pretty decent size. Oh my God. Now, like I was saying, everything is labeled. Even I put it together correctly. Now, video, audio, video, left and right. Video is always yellow, and it's even labeled here too anyways. So, yellow goes to yellow. And now, it's labeled on the block as well. So, camera goes with camera. And then, power goes with power. Anybody confused yet? 
and the red goes well there's only two more holes so it's <laughs> there's only two holes where do we put it and this is the last one the led now this is optional too if you want to turn the led on you plug it in and if you want the leds off you obviously unplug it oh look at this we're on look at this we're live so this is it this is the camera it's pretty neat now the infrared uh is on right now because I plugged it in like I just said. So we're gonna unplug it, hang on. It is so cold in here. I have not insulated the garage yet, can you tell? So now the lights are unplugged. So if it's clear, if you don't have to use these, it's very nice to use it. And this kind of gives you a little idea. So the real time is nice. I really like the camera. And when we're, I'm gonna be running actually two cameras with the jaw jackers or the flags or whatever else. Then we're gonna have this one on the one with the GoPro recording off this screen, and then the other camera, it records the Markham. We're gonna leave that one recording as is. Okay guys, so there's not much else to go over now. Oh no, there is. This is what I mean, we gotta plan it. So this is the, we're gonna show you how fast it turns. It's uh, yeah, so here, can you see where the camera's at? No, you can't. So it's very slow and low geared is what you want. And this is the cool remote right here. You press it and hold. Oh, I gotta turn it on. It takes three AA batteries, so you press and hold. And now, kinda turn it so you can see. So now this is how slow it turns can very very slowly see it and just you wrap the cord between the prongs so it grips but you don't want it any faster than this so that is very nice about this and it's wide enough it's gonna not fall down your hole and everything sits on top and la di da so now let's go out we're gonna test this thing you guys can see it in action all right so we just got it set up it's super cold it's windy get the truck running right now to keep it warm we get the hole drilled we're about five or six feet down and we're just gonna give you guys a glimpse. Now to be fair, it's a pretty dirty little pond. So it depends a lot on the clarity of the lake, um, the sky, like it's a cloudy day, it's not that sunny, so every factor matters. But I'll show you guys on the screen what's going on. And I got it in a little place. You can see bugs and stuff, a little bit of vegetation to give you guys an idea. Now I'm slowly turning with the panner on. So that's how slow the panner actually turns. It gives you guys a pretty good idea. It's really not that bad. It's the best bang for your buck, I think. Links below.